How you been? You okay? Hi. G- good. How are you? Who are good. you two? Yeah. <laughs> the funky moose people. Yeah. I'm Mark. And I'm Mark? Joel. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Nice to meet Hi. you both. Pleasure. Pleasure's all ours. Um it is recording right now, but don't worry about that. That's just, I'll trim all that fat after. Are Sounds you familiar good. with the show at all? And did you happen to see the little video <laughs> I sent you like an hour ago? <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, because that says who we are and what this <laughs> oh. is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It's okay. We are, we are anything but formal. Yeah, so like this formal. isn't, we don't have any hard-hitting questions for you, any of that stuff. We're legit just hanging out. What cool. what the purpose of the show is, is we want to get to know you a little bit better, what yeah. you're doing, what you're up to, that kind of stuff, right, to try and help promote you. And, like, basically, that's it. We just want to get to know you a little bit. Hi, I'm Anna Haverstock, and this is episode 97 of the Sit Down Podcast. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by Inspired Vapor Company. It is a father-son organization that um, helps people get rid of darts. So if you're a smoker and you want to transition into vaping, which is healthier than uh, smoking, check out inspiredvaporcompany.com and use promo code, what did we say? Moose10. Moose10. For 10% 10 off, off. you guys. Perfect. 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 That's the that's the only <laughs> like formal thing. Everything else yeah. is just a hang. So, okay, sweet. so we'll hello there, old kids. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, right. Well, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you so much for honoring us with your presence this evening. Pleasure How's to be it here. Going? Excellent. Great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Are you in Are you in Saskatoon right now? I am. Yeah. You are. Guess what I have. What Sweetie? tickets to your show for oh. December? 8th. Oh, oh, sweet! Oh yeah, man. Hell yeah! I bought those the day they they were announced. I got I bought tickets for that, so that's gonna be wow. You're on it. That's like nobody does that. They just show up at the door. <laughs> I know, right? I'm that's exciting. Serious. I'm trying to change that. Like for those of you out there watching or listening, like when an event comes out, like don't wait until the door to get your tickets. Like help support our canadian musicians and like get your tickets man what have you been oh. doing for the last two years you know I'm, okay yeah <laughs> answer this what if it snows then if it gets Aww. then it snows then we're it's... from saskatchewan right so we can do it you guys <laughs> yeah. Are, yeah right, right? Yeah, okay, exactly. yeah yeah like we can you... make it we can walk there if we have to <laughs> yeah. oh, for okay, sure okay. Act... what if a friend shows up at my door Oh, then, then invite bring them. them the, oh, then they can know. pay. <laughs> then they can pay at the door. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can bring your okay. ticket. Which um, other? Which other bullshit excuse do we have? That's actually funny. You say like <laughs> in Saskatchewan. That reminds me of a funny story. I'll tell you. So my wife, she works in town here, right? She's uh, well, she works in town, and one of her, there was a bad snowfall. I think this was this was last winter, and that's all it was was a snowfall, right? It was pretty heavy, mm-hmm. but we're in such a small community. Like everywhere's is in walking distance. Like there's nowhere you can't get anywhere's in town in more than five minutes. It doesn't matter if you go from one end of town to the other. Like well, maybe maybe a ten minute walk, but from at one your, end to the other. At your speed, yeah. Yeah, but um. So <laughs> what happened was one of her employees called in and and couldn't make her shift at work. And Janelle's like, well, why? Like, what's going on? And she's like, well, I, I'm stuck in my driveway. I can't drive to work. So Janelle's like, well, I'll, I'll take the truck and I'll come get you or I'll see if I can get the truck. And she gets off the phone and she's like, oh, I'm going to go, you know, go get so-and-so and, and bring her to work. And I was like, no, like she can walk to work. I was like, why don't you do this? <laughs> I told her, I was like, why don't you walk to her house, go knock on her door and walk her to work? So that's what my wife did. <laughs> like, you're stuck? Well, let's just walk then. Like, if you want me to hold your hand, I will. So that's exactly what she did. <laughs> There you go. Like, I mean, yeah. yeah, there's really no excuse. <laughs> exactly. As for concerts, if you're in the city, just freaking walk there, man. 
Yes. If it's a heavy snow, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Once this airs, that would have happened because that's this weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. So this would have been a week ago when this goes on, but yeah. So how was the, <laughs> how was the show at the Capitol? <laughs> oh, it was the best time ever. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping it'll go well. I, I yeah. It's always fun to play there. Yeah. Freaking rights. Have you been like keeping up to date on like, is this going to be the first gig in a while or what's the scoop there? Well, it kind of happened all of a sudden. Actually, I've had a few gigs here. It's like, obviously it was nothing for a year and a half Yeah, for two years, two years with, and then I've had a couple shows now, like, um, t- uh, one, one this past weekend and two the weekend before that or something like that. And then one this Saturday. So it's all happening all again, luckily. That's- and how does that feel? Isn't that awesome? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. It's like, I didn't re- realize how much I missed it. I mean, I did realize how much I m- missed it, but, but now I'm just, I feel so much happier <laughs> being able to play music <laughs> again. Yeah. It's in crazy. front of live people. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Exactly. Instead of just like this, like I, I did Instagram concerts and I was just like singing to, <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I don't know, my friends on, on phones, but yeah, yeah. It's great. I saw a few of your videos. Yeah. And it's, it's not the same. It's good. No. It's yeah. Same, right? It's not, it's yeah. not the same when you, you finish a song and then there's just silence and you realize <laughs> you're, you're sitting in your basement. You're like, Oh, <laughs> But yeah, yeah, the live shows have been great. So, yeah, right on. So, do you have like a uh, like a regular band with you, or is it? You know what I mean. Yeah, I do. I d- well, pre COVID, I did, and now um, trying to get back into that and get organized again. So I do, yeah. And I have played many, many shows like solo. But after I put the record out, which I guess was three years ago already, um, that was kind of a full band record. So now I mostly do the full band shows yeah right. excellent yeah. and then so how many members in the band there were five of us and one uh now there's four of us one, my friend who sang backup vocals she moved away but um so yeah the now we're a four-piece rock band <laughs> yeah right and i saw that your uh your previous album or your last album previous the only album, album. The only, there you go. <laughs> first and your latest um, yeah the drummer was Talis from yes. Weapons. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. He... Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, yeah, he recorded the album with us all, and we've played many, many shows together. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, I love that guy. Shout out to Talis. You're kicking ass, brother. <laughs> Great drummer. <laughs> he's right. Thumbs I, up. Well, he's, I was he's wa- a good person. Let's call it that. He is. He definitely <laughs> is. I was watching your videos today, too, and I, I, picked him out in the back i did almost didn't recognize him with short hair oh yeah like oh, right i guess yeah he has like no facial hair there and well now he's living his i don't know his long hair dream or something he's got long hair <laughs> now <laughs> well, he's a rock star now right yeah like a real rock star yeah is he a real rock star now or are we all we all he, are let's just give yeah, ourselves that rock. title yeah, yeah. <laughs> freaking rights yeah cheers what do you got going um there's beer in here. There's Cronenberg in here, Cronenberg blog, but it's some old, um, I don't know. I found this at Value Village. It says Labatt Light. It's not that. What are you guys drinking? Is that Guinness? No. That's uh, some liquid death we got going on over here. Oh yeah. I've seen ads for that. What is that? Yeah. Mountain water. water. Yeah, it's water, but it like looks like it's, it's beer, it, right? It looks like beer cans. Yeah. Beer it's cool or, though. Some people call it, it looks like energy drinks. Okay, like, a mon- yeah, yeah, yeah. like a monster yeah. energy drink or something. Except it's more water. hip, <laughs> but it's water. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, cheers. Oh, oops, I'm the only one drinking, but whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all good. It's all, you yeah, can pretend there's sure. beer in here. It's all good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm, I found you, actually, so mm-hmm. you were a referral to me through Aspen Beverage. Oh, yeah. Told, told me to give you a shout out. And, and when I was listening to your music today, I could have sworn I had heard it before somewhere okay. else, and I still haven't been able to put my finger on where I would have or might have. That's kind of why I was asking about shows. I'm like, did I, maybe I saw you play somewhere and just haven't pieced it together yet, but I don't know. I don't freaking know. Probably. So that- I've been gigging for a while now, so you probably just 
stumbled upon one of my oh, songs can... and it got in your ear or something. <laughs> right? Um, so how long have you been like performing music and, and gigging? I, so gigging, I think it's been eight years, almost nine or something now. So I was a bit of a late bloomer. I started when I was like 24. Now I'm 33. Wait, is that the right math? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> a while now. Yeah. I've been around Saskatoon lots and the music scene here is awesome. And it's been a good time. Hell yeah. Have you ever yeah. like, have you been like far away from Saskatoon or Saskatchewan or? Not yet, but I feel like, you know, why not? I need to try that. I, I, I've not toured. I've played a few festivals, but just in Saskatchewan. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. What's your most memorable festival that you've played? Um, well, Nest, like I've played Nest Creek a couple of times and that's super memorable, super good time. Like one time I played there with my band and then I was on like two times in a row. So my band played on the main stage and then I was in a cover band, like a Motown cover band. And we played right after. Oh, nice. So I had, to, I had to like run. Yeah. I was in a Motown cover band for a while called Mo Love. And that was so much fun. So we played Nest that year and I ran back to my cabin and like changed quickly and like changed my outfit and like then ran back to the stage. So probably that. And also like I played Regina Folk Fest a couple of years ago and that was super cool. To me, that felt like really neat. I had never actually been, I'm oh, sorry, my cat is making noise. She's here to visit. Anyway, <laughs> she's just wandering around. Um, so yeah, Ness and Regina Folk Fest probably. Freaking right. Yeah. Motown. Yeah. I, I, are you shocked? <laughs> I oh, like to rock no. and roll, but I like, I have some soul too. <laughs> I, I, I'm not, it's not shocked. It's just, I'm trying to think, did we, have we ever had a, like a soul person on, on the podcast? We've had some funk. Funk, funky soul. Yeah. There's not, a, I mean, they're, they're around in Saskatchewan. It's just maybe, uh, slightly less popular than folk well, yeah. and country that's, and rock that's but, interesting yeah. It, yeah, actually you're you're i think you're absolutely right i i feel like <clears throat> i could be way off base here but my personal experience and opinion is that saskatchewan music is really focused around country music big time and, yeah. and there is a lot of farming communities around here like they were known for agriculture and you know well we're west west canadian you know I, what i mean i kind of have the feeling that if you're not a country artist then <laughs> you're a rock artist and no in between well we've I had mean, guests on the show that aren't either or maybe you I, mean I maybe if you're making money if you're <laughs> if you're in it to make some money your country <laughs> right. yeah. or your rock but if you're in yeah. it for like the passion maybe not those genres <laughs> you're doing it because you love it i don't know they they're, they do exist, but yeah, it's not as common for yeah. sure out here. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Huh. Um, Motown. <laughs> <laughs> every, every 10 minutes, you'll yeah. just hear him. He'll just There's videos. On, you can find it on That's, YouTube. <laughs> what, what was it called? Motown Love? Mo Love. So Mo, Mo, Love. Mo Love was the band. Yeah, we were a cover, cover band. Yeah, obviously. Well, actually, no, at Nest Creek, uh, some of the artists, like it was a huge band i don't remember how many maybe 12 of us or something but some oh, wow. of them did write yeah some of them wrote original uh tunes and i was a vocalist so we got to sing lots of cool stuff yeah it was a cool cool experience yeah Sweet. yeah what's your favorite motown song well pro i mean kind of typical but i guess sign sealed delivered by stevie wonder i actually sang last weekend at the basement with funk joint do you know the guys from funk joint oh, that's yeah. exactly who i was talking about because we just yeah. had graham well oh, yeah. so the week before this one like last week's episode is with graham from funk joint yeah sweet okay so i played with them and i got to sing that song with them because they so they were in not graham but all the other people in funk joint were in mo love so that's how i knew them and then yeah we just Played together last weekend. It was so fun. Cool. See, like old times. <laughs> this is this is why I like doing what we're doing here. Because now I'm gonna look all that up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For sure. Well, and and isn't it cool how like we had no idea, but how Graham's episode and this one are gonna go back to back. Yeah. So then there's like a little callback to last week's episode here. Happy little incidents. Yeah. I go. love that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's all 
coming full circle. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we, I guess if we do this long enough, we'll have everybody in the, in the Saskatoon and Saskatchewan music industry. Canada, Canadian, worldwide, baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> If you need some tips, I can tell you about other artists you may not know about, but we'll you know save that for later. Forget, yeah, we'll save that for when we're done here. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm all for yeah. it, man. I'm all for like the, you scratch my back, I'll scratch your kind of thing. Like there's yeah. no personal gain to come out of it. It's all just uh, like networking. It's almost like a networking kind of thing. Like I said, like Aspen, yeah. he's like, Hey, why don't you reach out to, to Anna? Cause I think, I don't know if I'm allowed to say or anything, but were you just, currently working with him recently or do you guys are you oh just yeah right? no yeah this yeah oh. the song is out we we recorded a song in october it's, <laughs> so it's like my newest single it's a new single and i like i knew aspen and liet uh for years obviously just being in the music scene here um but i was in liet's music video in the summer and then it was filmed at the place where their studio is and I was like, I'd love to record there. So that's how we kind of made that happen. And the, yeah, the song is already out. There's a video for it too. It's, the song's called Reach Out to Me. And for this one, actually, I was like, Aspen, I don't know like what you think of this, but I want to play all the instruments like I used to when I was like young and I was recording all, uh, you know, alone in my mother's basement <laughs> on GarageBand. I used to do all the parts myself. And he was like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. Let's do it. So the newest song... Everything you hear is actually me. You can probably tell once I <laughs> once I spill the beans, but yeah, the whole everything. I played every every single instrument, every part, and yeah, it came along like it, was, it uh, really turned into something I'm like super proud of, and I think it sounds great. And Aspen and Leah did a great job. Right. Where yeah. where did you record the video? Because it looks it looks like <laughs> in a park or something. Yeah, it's just it's actually Buena Vista Park. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So just cute little i don't know i was kind of just like hey like to my friends i'm like let's just have fun in the park that's the premise of the video so that was yeah. super nice too and that was right before it snowed so yeah it was a nice day we really lucked out yeah it was cool it was a cool experience i just remembered i i pieced it together on where i where i heard you before oh I, okay i'm such an idiot i am such an idiot <laughs> so <laughs> well we knew that but yeah did you hear song? so <laughs> Truth be told, because Aspen told me to reach out to you, he was like, oh, I'm working with that, this this girl, Anna. Anna ha Haverstock? Haverstock? Haverstock. Ha I'm, no, so, have. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Um, he's good. like, but I'm working with her, and, and, you know, I think she'd be a good fit for the show, and you should reach out, see if you can get her. And he actually sent me the demo of the song that you guys were working on. Oh, ooh, so you got a sneak peek. Nice. I did. I did. Oh, I did. that's yeah. where you and heard That's it. why I recognized <laughs> it. Today when I was listening, I was like, how do I know this song? <laughs> I'm stupid. But it, oh, it's good. awesome. But and, and then that was, it was cool because the the first time, like when I was listening to the demo of it and, and you're saying reach out to me and stuff. And I think when I did reach out to you, I was, I, didn't I say something? Oh yeah. That? I was trying to be like candid. Yeah, you... <laughs> I was like, Oh, this guy's got all the lines. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> Pretty funny. Nice dad yeah. joke. <laughs> yeah, exactly. right. Freaking right. But that's, that's where that came from. I pieced that together. When does a joke become a dad joke? When, it when it's corny. Funny? Yeah. I think. Really? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> yeah. I think oh, so. Definitely. Um, in the video, I don't make the rules. Oh yeah. The, did you, did you, do you skateboard or did yeah, you? Yeah, terribly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I can go in a straight line and then I can go in another straight line. The <laughs> end. Oh, yeah, That's gotcha. it. Right <laughs> Who's, whose board was that? Those are, uh, there's two boards in, in the video. They're both mine. Mm. Yeah. I got a cruiser and then I just got a regular skateboard. Right on. But you, yeah. Yeah. And you use them to go straight and back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, if I go down a hill too fast, I jump off. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm in my 30s now. I can't take any chances. <laughs> I skateboarded right. when I was a kid, but, like, uh, then I gave it up for a long time. And then I took it up again when I was, like, late 20s. So, you know, I, I don't know how to do any tricks, but I would love that. Actually, I played a show at a skateboard park, like, last weekend or two weekends ago, I guess. 
that was so cool. Like I was just like living my childhood dream. I was like, whoa, I'm playing rock and roll while these people are skateboarding. This is so Hell yeah. dope. <laughs> yeah. Was that it was indoor awesome. or outdoor? It, it was an indoor. It's a private spot. But yeah, it was indoor. It was really cool. Huh. Yeah. Fucking A. Yeah, it was awesome. I don't know. I was like, I would do this every weekend if they wanted me to. And then someone there was like, oh, I can give you lessons. I'm like, yeah, for sure. But not today. Like I've had a couple beers. Like I don't want to learn now. I, <laughs> I don't have my helmet. I need to be careful. These bones are brittle. <laughs> yeah, you might break a hip. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You never know. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I used to do that in high school too. I was never any good at it, but it was fun. It was even just like hanging out with everybody too. Was I just yeah. used my skateboard to get to school and back. Did you? Yeah. Did you ever learn? Well, that's any- a good nope. thing. Never. No. Did you even try and learn any tricks? Yeah. That was terrible. <laughs> no. Like, like Anna, just right. go to school and back. <laughs> I, out of all the tricks, the one I was the best at was a pop shove it. That was probably my, my goat too. I yeah. just think of like Tony Hawk's pro skater. That's how I know like things about skateboarding <laughs> when I was a kid. I just played that like every day. That game was kick ass, man. I used oh, to get yeah. we used to get so high and just play that game all night. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Good memories though. Yeah, definitely. Um what do Most, you think of Motown. uh the basement? <laughs> I, have you ever what? He's he's Motown. like Motown. Motown. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> It was, and then it was I'm asking you about the basement. <laughs> Have you ever played at the basement before? Or was that the first time you played that venue? Yeah, I've never. It's kind of funny. I was like there. Do you know the Garys? You know the band, the yeah. Garys? Yeah. Yeah. We had them on a few weeks back. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah. So they played there for their like record release. And I was hanging out with some friends. I'm like, oh, I'm not classy enough to play the basement. Like I'll never play the basement. And then like Savelm from Punk Joint like a week later is like, Hey, do you want to sing with us? And you know, we're playing at the basement on the 10th, <laughs> excuse me. And I was like, Oh my gosh, what? Cool. So yeah, I'd never played there before. It was awesome. It sounded great. The sound there was really, really crisp. It was, yeah, it was fun. And like with Motown, with the, or sorry, like not all the songs from Motown, but they're kind of like more soul, I guess. Um, the covers that I sang, uh, I really have to belt it. Like I really had to like, like with my own songs, I guess the way I write is like a certain type of like the vocal lines are a certain way. But mm-hmm. like, yeah, I found I found myself really like I was like, OK, let's go. I could hit this note. So it was challenging, but it was really awesome. And yeah, the the crowd was cool. It was sweet, too, because like so different than what I'm used to, because I play like the bars and, you know, it's like way later typically. And it's kind of like you see a lot of the same people. But at the basement, it was like totally like a bunch of new faces. Yeah. Yeah. And everyone's just kind of sitting there staring at you. Yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. But they were right. grooving too. Like it, like funk joints music is so fun. So it wasn't like they were just like rigid and like staring yeah. at me, like, you know, they were into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the sweet. basement has a, has a membership uh, program. right? So there's, there are a lot of regulars, I think that, I mean, they yes. have a membership. So they just walk in and see whoever's playing. Right. So, yeah, which is really cool. I love that idea. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The capital so, should do that. I was just about to say, <laughs> you know, when we start a music venue, we should do that. Have like, what, like a tiered? Have a membership. Or have a membership. Yeah, you, you become a member, you pay X amount of dollars per year, and you get, I don't know, 25% off your ticket if you come see a show. Get uh, 60% off any sales at... Uh, Funky Moose Records. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> mm, I thought I was gonna get a squint there on the sixty percent, but yeah, sure. Oh, well, that's not gonna happen. But speaking of, for those of you <laughs> listening and watching, go to funkymooserecords.ca and check out the merch that we've got there. We've got podcast merch, Funky Moose merch. We've got merch from some of the past guests on there, like Weapons, Tyler Gilbert, Elephants and Stars. 12 Years Today. 12 Years Today. So you guys listening and watching, go to the website and check out the merch tabs and just scroll around in there. Take a look. Yep. But yeah. Actually, uh, <clears throat> yeah, do that. <laughs> I was, was going to say Get something. that merch. <laughs> Get that merch. Yeah. Merch, merch, merch. I'm going to freaking, that's going to be my, that's another, I, I like making everything a little mission, right? Like freaking pre-sale tickets and stuff. 
Muse Canada is a new arts and entertainment media connection and support network. Skip the algorithms of social media and connect to other entertainment professionals across Canada. Sign up today for five bucks a month. Or use promo Funky Moose 2021 for 10% off. But um, yeah, I want to sell some podcast merch. We've had podcast merch on the website for a few months now, and I think I'm the only one who's ever purchased any of it. So <laughs> I, I can confirm. Yes, you are. Actually, that's not true because Joanne from Seven Miles Sun bought a couple aprons or one for sure with my <laughs> handsome face on it. Oh, your face is on the merch. Whoa, look at you. Yeah. Do you want me to open the book now or after the show? What did you just send it to her for being on the show or no? <laughs> you might have to cut this out, but she she ordered a Funky Moose one, got a podcast one, and it was like she showed it on Instagram. It was like, that's not what you ordered, is it? And she was like, Oh no, I thought you would just, you were sending the um send I don't know how she worded it, but Oh, so she bought a funky moose apron, but she got the podcast. And she got apron. the podcast one. Oh, that made me so happy yeah. that she bought that. Yeah. Joanne. So then I sent her <laughs> then I sent her another one with the Funky Moose logo because that's what she ordered. But now she has two. Oh yeah. yeah. That's funny. I'm not gonna sell up. aprons. Okay. Why do you why yeah. do you sell aprons? <laughs> so barbecue aprons. It was the uh, so barbecue they, aprons. Yeah, the way that we do the merch, it's kind of like it's third partied out, right? So it's basically whatever merch that they have, we can we can sell that merch with our logos and stuff on it right essentially sure and then so i had that was just one of the options like it was kind of a limited option of what would maybe sell and it was the beginning of summer and i was like ah fuck a barbecue apron whatever i'll put my face on that it'll sell (laughs) (laughs) i see i see do you you have one yourself i don't because i don't cook oh now's the time to start (laughs) i don't i don't i don't cook either Maybe that will be our incentive. Get some aprons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want one? I'll send you one. <laughs> yeah, I like free. Is it free? If it's free, yeah, send it my way. <laughs> I'll give you a t-shirt. How about that? I'll give go. you one we'll of like, my t-shirts. <laughs> we'll exchange. I'll I'll order one up and we'll exchange. But I don't think I can get it by the 18th, which is okay. Uh, <laughs> all good. All good. <laughs> Too funny. Yeah, my little shameless plug there. Um, so you've got one album that just recently came out a few months back. No, is that was it, the single, the single. I have an album that's three, year, three years, three years old now. I know it's and crazy. It, and that's also available on vinyl. Do you still have left it? Oh yes. Yes. <laughs> when you order vinyl, you have to order a lot. So yeah, I have yeah. some records left and it's actually seafoam green vinyl. It's very stylish and beautiful and, uh, it sounds great. <laughs> I saw that on Bandcamp. Let's oh yeah, yeah. Shattered press that precision. That precision. Yeah. Oh, that's did, the one yeah. that's who we dealt with that's, as well. That's where this one came from. So, are you guys like a band? What is this? For your yeah. comedy? Why do you have an album? I don't know. Comedy. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. So, a little a little backstory, <laughs> and uh, so Mark owns Funky Moose Records, right? Which is okay. an online record store, and oh, I'm okay. just, and I'm just his friend. So we're always Not talking about music friend. all the time. And You're and just the, a friend. Well, we're lovers too, but well, they don't. We, we can cut that part out. <laughs> no, well, I'm just joking. I'm seriously That's joking. Lovely. I'm married. I'm and happy I have a for you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no. So Mark owns Funky Moose Records, and and we're really good friends. And because we always talk music and stuff, we figured we'd try and give a podcast like the podcasting thing a go. Uh, mm-hmm. We started it a couple of years ago, and we're doing it for like there's no hidden agenda there except for we want to get to know the artists and try and help promote them with the platform that we have right cool so that's kind of how that all started and in doing so yeah we've met like so many freaking interesting people like musicians and artists and stuff like that and we really get we like they be we're family right like as as are you being on the show you are now officially part of the family where anytime you want to come on the show like you are more than welcome. The door's wide open for you, right? Yep. If if we could ever help you out with anything, like just ask. New and, releases, and we'll be there to help. Have, have a show, whatever. Just reach yeah. Out. So in, in cool. doing that, we got to meet all these awesome people and, and become friends with them. And like there's the band Northern Royals out of Winnipeg who we've gotten to be really close with. 
and they always wanted to put out an EP or a vinyl and stuff. So we were just like, well, why don't we try and work together and we'll, we'll help you get one out and we'll distribute it for you and everything. And then that's kind of the mm. short story of how that record became to be. So, okay. I see. That's yeah, dope. Fun- yeah. Funky Moose's first, like, I don't, I wouldn't, would you consider it? A, I don't know. They, Evan keeps saying we're his record label, but yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't, we're just, well, distributors it would it would it would kind of i would consider it we're dipping our toes in being a record label but that's okay. that's about right. how far we got for now well because it's now. still early stages yeah. of the game you know what and i mean then, yeah like, yeah and then also because of the the artists that we had on the show we organized uh, moose fest the first moose fest uh last year and we're now organizing the second yeah we've got the the second one well, about three quarters of the way planned. Yeah. Right so now. in January, we have uh, Prehistoric Productions is uh, organizing Clash at the Cap, where we are oh. partnering with them. Um, We're co-hosting it. Co-hosting it. And then the winner of Clash at the Cap uh, gets will, a gig will at, play at Moose Fest. At the next Moose Fest in yeah. August in Bellevue. Cool. Which makes okay, me, sweet. you should actually, speaking of Clash at the Cap, Mm-hmm. I would love it if you would enter and and submit for that. So I what think. is that like a battle of the bands or something? Wait, yeah. And, so okay. Yeah. Yes. So yes. Clash at the Cap is the battle of the bands that we're not calling the battle of the bands. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But essentially, so January fifteenth, we're gonna have 10, 10 performances that'll be doing two originals and one cover song that Prehistoric Productions is gonna provide. And that's going to be the 15th. From there, we're going to narrow it down to three finalists who will then come back to the Capitol on the 22nd and do like a half hour set each. And then we'll have our winner. There'll be a panel of judges there. So on like on both days, there'll be a panel of judges and the prizes are insane. Excuse me. The winner will get, well, the spot at Moose Fest, (laughs) but also um, uh, a session with Skull Creek Studios uh, uh produce music video or credit uh towards the music video with prehistoric productions yep and then uh a digital marketing package from funky moose digital which is me um some photography work photography. I, I can't remember who the photographer me neither is but he's he's legit too but yeah like the so, prizes are valued around ten thousand dollars yep oh wow <laughs> sounds awesome yeah. that's a great right. great thing yeah so we can put you on that list then, right? <laughs> I'll talk to my band, but I think it sounds fun. Yeah, why not? Hell yeah. I'll That's, send you I'll the take that as a yes. that. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. As Sign long up. as I yeah. can find some musicians to play with me, heck yeah. The 15th? Uh, January 15th. Yeah, you bet. Okay. Okay. Times times aren't like announced yet because we st- we have to go through all the submissions and then figure out who we're narrowing it down to from there, right? Okay, but cool. uh, yeah, so, awesome. and if even if you don't, you got to come party. Yeah. It's be- <laughs> is it yeah. uh, it's kind of a silly question? Is it during the day or is it at night? It's like an evening thing, or uh, well, there's going to be eight to ten bands doing yeah, so it's going to start songs. early, it's going to be a few hours. Yeah, okay, yeah, so That's it's probably kinda- we're probably starting late afternoon and then go till. The cap closes, I guess. Yeah. Depend cool. and then maybe have uh not like a headlining act, but maybe have a band do like in a, a full well, set at the end, maybe depending on what time. Like the times aren't we'll, confirmed we'll, yet. We'll so I'm not I don't even have an answer for that. So what's your cat's <laughs> name? <Hey. laughs> that's my cat Rue. Oh. Oh, turn on your computer. Yep. Yeah, that's Rue, named after Rue Paul. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh yeah. She's one of a kind. She's a, I don't know what she's doing. She's like stepping on my artwork back there. Does she Whatever. have she wants does she have ears? No, she doesn't. Here I'll show you. Okay. So she was like a rescue, obviously. And she she got frostbite really bad. Yeah. So she has like little nubs. She doesn't really have ears. <laughs> but she's so chill and she's so sweet, but also kind of obnoxious, you know, how cats are. Yeah, uh, cats. as cats are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My she son wants just, to be the center of attention. My there's a lot of stray cats around our town, and there's this oh, yeah. one that's been following my son to and from school. 
Aww. And and I'm allergic to cats, so I'm like pretty much want nothing to do with the darn thing. But this last weekend, he was being really cute with that cat and wanted Aww. to have something to feed it or whatever. So I put some milk in a bowl and we gave it milk. And now that cat just won't go away. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> gave <it> milk. <laughs> which which is okay because it doesn't come in the house. But like my son is just loving it. It's Aww. a female cat. He named it Simon. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's so cute. I like that. And Aww. yeah, so he's always and the way he calls it, he goes out on the deck and he'll just go kaka kaka, <laughs> and then all of a sudden this cat. Comes <laughs> it's freaking adorable. It's so. The cat's cute. like, oh, that's my cue. I'll be right there. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. nope. <laughs> <It's adorable>. Yeah. <laughs> so tell She's us about your artwork, because uh, that next to your computer, that. Uh, oh, that's my. I didn't. I didn't make that. That's my friend Yonina. My, my friend Yonina Rolak did that one. Oh, but my artwork, yeah, I, I'm an artist. Like a, I draw. I draw lots of um, portraits. I guess, kind of also like I really like um, like traditional tattoo style artwork. So I draw kind of things that look like tattoos. I guess I, I just love to draw. Yeah. Can you show something? Uh. I don't have anything here, though. The ones that I have behind me are like somebody else's artwork. What do What do you mean you traditional can, tattoos? Like what do you mean? Like like sailor traditional. You know okay. what I mean? Like old school kind of. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? The, the like someone, oh. If I could, if I was wearing a t shirt, like uh, like daggers and like snakes and like panthers, yeah, okay. stuff Ribbon. like that. I like to draw. Oops. Yeah. I just, I do have an art Instagram, but <laughs> it's mostly just for my own. It's just like a fun hobby. And during COVID, I like really was like drawing all the time because I didn't have anything else to do. There was no like music or anything like that happening. So, but yeah. I've always drawn since I was a kid, but yes, Rue was just stepping all over the art that I bought. Actually, it was, uh, that's what she was up to back there. Uh, yeah. Nice. How... Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit of your experience working at Skull Creek Studios? Not working, but like recording. <laughs> working so hard. Yeah, uh, sure. Because like I'd never, I'd never worked with Aspen uh, like that before, and Leah. Um, but yeah, it was like they were totally open to my idea of doing all the things myself. And oops, and we, <laughs> sorry, my camera fell there. Um, yeah, we did it over two days and, uh, yeah, like, I mean, it was a lot, I was kind of like, I guess because I'd, I'd only ever recorded with band members before. So I'd never done it in a studio all by myself. Right. Um, so it was a little bit, you know, more challenging than I anticipated, but Aspen was like, so good at being like, okay, like, let's break it down and let's like do it step by step. And he was great with that and really patient and also like Liet was like he lent me some guitar uh pedals and stuff so we got all these cool effects on there obviously my telecaster sounds great on its own but <laughs> but his uh his pedals really like brought something to the song as well lots of cool stuff on there so yeah it was great it was so much fun it was cool i'd love to do it again but uh so yeah, are so, you so are you recording an a new album or no because i need to get a government grant <laughs> oh. i need grant money i have no money so i actually use birthday money to pay for the song to pay for the recording of the song uh but i would love to record another album it's just time like i'm probably also i would not do it all myself obviously i'd re like to record with my band again yeah. so it, it will happen it's just Got, got to do a, for a few other things first. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. So then do you currently have like a nine to five job as well on top of I, the music? I, yes, I do. Isn't that yeah. boring? <laughs> I'm it's, a real I, person. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> that we were talking to a rock star. We are she talking. Has a we're all rock stars. Oh, I am a rock star. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Freaking right. I just also have to pay the rent. So I work yeah, at I... a private. I work at a private school. I work with young kids, actually. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Right yeah, on. it's pretty sweet. It's it's been a lot because of COVID, but 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a great, great gig, but and it it's nice because I can have like the time for both, like my work and my music. Right. Yep. So yeah. So you'll be getting a couple of weeks off then. Right? Yes. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I am so pumped. Right. Yeah. Gives you time for music. More what music. do you What do you have planned for, for the holidays, for Christmas, New Year's? Nothing. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Actually, I'm gonna go to like. Have you heard of the Honky Tonk at Amigos? I'm gonna go to that on New Year's. But that's like my only plan. There's like, do you know Ellen Fraze? She's a folk singer, country yep. kind of. Yeah. I don't. She's super. You don't know who she is? What? I don't think so. I'm an idiot, remember? So <laughs> you know Saskatchewan music, but you don't know her. Well, yeah. you'll have to figure or you'll have to figure that out for yourself. But her and some do you know Casey and Clayton? No. No. What? They're like on a legit record label. They're like on what's his name? Jeff Tweedy from like Wilco. They're on his record label. Like they're like big time for I guess like alternative country. I thought you okay, anywho. Some of the band members from their band, Ellen's band, and then a couple other like bands around town, they like created this country cover band and they called themselves the Salt Licks and they're playing a honky tonk. So they've been doing these honky tonk nights. There's only been two um, at Amigos just, you know, right. Like because of shows coming back and they've been free but they're like so busy and it's like so fun because they play all this classic country and then they're doing it for new year's so that's my plan for new year's and i'm not i'm not even like a country person but i like it's so fun and the musicians are so good Mm. yeah you gotta look up ellen phrase i I heard about the salt lakes though somewhere maybe yeah they Maybe Instagram. Okay, so they just they just like chose their name like a couple weeks ago or something. They're like, okay, our cover band's called the Salt Licks now. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's uh oh, Rue, what the hell? <laughs> what are you doing? I love it. <laughs> you can't go that way. Now I have her Ru- hair all over my face. <laughs> Rue wants to kiss you all. Yeah, <laughs> she's she's like, like, heard, she heard me say I'm allergic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. she means well. I swear. She just likes to be the center of attention. Anyway, what are you guys doing for New Year's? <laughs> what do you got planned? I have no idea. Uh, nothing yet, yeah. I think. New Year's is kind of stupid also. You could just, like, staying at home would be chill as heck. That'd be, <laughs> why not? I think I think that's what we're doing. We, we've, the last two, three years, we just stayed home. Right? Yeah. There was, that's there was usually what time. I do. Yeah, there was one year, that was a couple of years ago, we had a... We had a foster daughter here mm-hmm. and uh, our own daughter and my son was just born, I think, or no, he was about to be born. So it was three years ago. No, four years ago. Anyway, we uh, we wanted to do all sorts of things and we ended up just staying at home and the kids were all like, we want to stay up until midnight because we want to count now. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Whatever. So we counted down midnight and then uh, <laughs> they're like, that's it. It was always like, oh. <laughs> so, now it's, so now it's New Year. Yep. Now it's January 1st. Uh, okay. I'm going to bed. <laughs> <Good night. laughs> right. New Year's so, in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. That's, I think that's what we're doing again. Yeah. My wife and I might stay up till midnight. Let's then... go to the fireworks in St. Louis at eight o'clock. Oh, yes. Well, we do that. Yeah. But that's, I mean, that's fireworks and then then you come home and go to bed go to bed at a reasonable (laughs) time yeah exactly (laughs) freaking right do you stay up till midnight no not in the last few years i I think i don't do it either really (laughs) unless i have to i think the last time we stayed up past midnight on new year's was when we were drywalling the basement and that's like (laughs) we we were like put hanging drywall yeah me and my wife (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I remember New Year's Eve's back home. I didn't sleep. So Mark's from Holland originally. Yeah. Oh, cool. Don't hold that. What again. brought you to the prairies? My wife. Oh yeah. That's like every time I ask somebody, so why'd you move here? Oh, my partner, my this. Yeah. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. That makes it's, a lot of sense. It's usually the shortest answer, too. <laughs> yeah. What else can I say? Yeah. <laughs> 
do you miss it? Because it's been a while since you've been back there. Holland? Yeah. No. You don't miss it at all? I miss my family and friends, but the country itself. That's it. Right. Ooh. Every, everybody's always like, oh, Holland's such a nice country. Sure. But if you grow up there, it's like. I guess that'd be like if I moved to Holland, like, would I miss Saskatchewan yeah. winters? Yeah. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Nobody would. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Yeah, it's like, no, we, it's- I love being here. I love living here, but nobody likes the winter. I mean, we deal with it because we have no choice, but nobody really likes. I mean, if you like it, are you okay? It's very, yeah, very long. I, right? I kind of, <laughs> I actually had this conversation last weekend. I met someone and and they were asking me too, like, oh, so you moved from Holland? Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you, do you like it here? I'm like, I wouldn't be here if I didn't, didn't yeah. like it here. Yeah, yeah. And that's and then it's like, well, I mean, the winter could be a little shorter, but I mean, other than that, it's fine, you know. And then the other way around, my brother-in-law came came with us to Holland one time and and he was just taking pictures of all the old buildings and stuff like that and I'm, I grew up with him, so it's like, yeah. Yeah, there's building, another brick building. Old building. Old building. <laughs> Mark, eighteen hundreds. Yeah, like the rest of the buildings. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah. Yeah, it's probably everybody everywhere's. Yeah, has that, you know. Yeah. When I got here, I mean, if you if I if we walk out of this house from the front and I look that way, I see nothing. It's all field. Yeah. You don't have that in Holland. So when I got here the first time, mm. I look around and I see nothing. I'm like, wow, like, this, this is, is all mine. Yeah. <laughs> I can look around and see nobody or nothing, and it's you don't have that. So that was new to me. Right. But my wife, when she came to Holland for six and a half years, the first couple of years, she felt like she was living in a sardine can. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she's so accustomed to the open space. Yeah, Yeah. because Holland, the country, is 11 times smaller than Saskatchewan. And there are 17 million people there. Oh, my God. (laughs) Wow. Right? How many Saskatchewan's population? Do you know? Just over a million. Okay, I didn't know that. I don't know. Yeah, why. we are lucky. We are lucky to have so much space. Like I traveled a little, like a tiny bit in only in like the States, like I've driven to the States and, and it amazes me how the highways are just like car to car, like bumper to bumper. You have no space. And here, when you go on the highway, you have lots of space. And that's where I realized like, yep. oh my God, like I could never be around that all the time. Like it would just drive me insane. Like, why is why are there so many people everywhere? Right. <laughs> but you, but you get used to it. You get used to it. Like I suppose, yeah. Where I grew up, I, I'm from a small city, but all the uh, towns around it, the city grew so big that it just gobbled it up and it's now a oh. huge city technically. Right. But I remember um, in 2005 when I was here first, I drove my mother-in-law's van in Saskatoon and all of a sudden she says, oh man, it's busy. And I look around and I'm like, where? Yeah, you see like four, four, <laughs> four, five were like cars. four or five vehicles in front of me. It's like, this is <laughs> not busy, you know? You, get, you just get used to it. Oh man, yeah, I yeah. went to, I was actually in Saskatoon earlier that, was that last week? I think I went to Saskatoon last week for something. So two weeks ago? No, it was last week. I did the podcast with Prehistoric Productions. Oh, one right. of their 12 cri- podcasts at Christmas. Yep. And I was like, it was that the day of that shitty weather that we had last Thursday Uh or whatever the frick it was, right? Yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, so whatever, small town Sask boy, I got in the truck and I went to the city and I didn't think the weather or the roads were that bad at all. But I'm already accustomed and used to plowing through fucking snow all the time, (laughs) right? In the truck. And when I got to the city, I was just trying to take note of the difference between I guess my driving and like city driving. Right. Right. Um, And I was just, I, I was, this is what I was noticing and it really, it kind of bothered me, but I think it's because I was like looking for something to piss me off or bother me, but like at a red light, when you ever stop at a red light and then you notice the other vehicles, they like, they keep like creeping forward, (laughs) but the, but the light is still red. So like, Aren't you supposed to like keep your foot on the brake till the light turns green and then take your foot off? Like, why are you constantly like creeping up trying to get 
closer when the car in front of you is not moving and like that, that's, what's the deal with that because that's fast. that is i'm like yeah i don't know it doesn't do flat. anything you well, don't know what that right? is so what what <laughs> i do in the city is it, is I when think... the when the um the other light turns red i know mine is going to be green soon yeah so i start rolling before there's fucking counters green. On the side, you look on the side and it counts down from like 16 or 19 or whatever. And when it hits zero, your light turns green. But I already start rolling while it's still red. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> but it's not like if I'm parked behind someone. Yeah, I'm, that you're yeah. like inching forward yeah, no, and like, that. it's like, hey, that settle down. The light's yeah. red, cripe. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I, I don't they know. want to get too fast, too furious on you. I, uh, yeah, I think it's like, a, and it's got to be like an anxiety or some type, like an aggression or anxiety like, thing. Go. I don't know. Let's go. I want to yeah, go. Let's go. I got to go. I got to go. It's like, well, you're not going to change the light, map. Just chill out. No. There anyway. are a lot of horrible drivers in this city, but I blame all the little small towny people that are there, right? <laughs> yeah. To the there you go. That's, that's probably so exactly where, what that is. Are you guys... Are you do you live in the same town or yeah, yeah we you might we're okay how many blocks away from each other would you say? We don't have blocks here. It's not really blocks, a couple streets, a <laughs> couple streets over. It's about f what Mark's at one end of town and I'm kind of in the middle of town. Yeah, you're on the east side, I'm on the west side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the town, sorry? Uh Bellevue. Oh, Bellevue. Saint yeah, you said that. Yeah, it's actually Saint Isidore de Bellevue. Is what it is. It's a little French Very community. Yes. Very French. I have no idea where it is. Do you have you ever heard of Batoche? Yes. We're maybe ten there. minutes away. Ten, oh, okay. maybe fifteen minutes away from Batoche. Yeah, we're east. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Sweet. Hmm. There but you go. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> but so yeah, we'd be an hour, maybe an hour five north of Saskatoon. And about 45 minutes south of Prince Albert. But that's because we're off yeah. the beaten path, right? So we're not exactly off the main. Well, we're off the main highways, but then there's like dips and turns and shit you got to do to well, get there too. You know what? If not okay. before August 6th, 2022, you have to come mm -hmm. to Bellevue. Yeah, I got to get we're, down there. We're organizing Moose Fest. So there you go. We should get her to come play before that. Yeah. Wow, is we there say like that a bar anyway. there? Is there a bar that I can play? That no, I yeah. there's no <laughs> bar. A here. bingo hall? <laughs> nope. There's a hall. There's definitely a, well that the hall is where we did the first Moose Fest. Yeah. Okay. We we, we booked the hall um, because we didn't have access to the outdoor location at the time, <clears throat> so we just booked the hall and we did it there. And it was a freaking it was a hoot, man. We yeah, had uh, Seven Mile Sun, then League of Wolves. And then the steadies closed it out. Oh, sweet. So, yeah. And we had uh, Kit from Cadillac. You know Kit, right? No. I think maybe. No. Who's that? Uh, <laughs> what? Well, he's in, I guess, maybe not. He's from Soul, Old Souls. So him and Aspen, Aspen are yeah. in Old Souls. Oh, okay. I think maybe I've seen like his picture then, but I don't know him personally. Right. <laughs> but But he was there also. And then he would go and do some like acoustic songs in between like the the build axe okay yeah sweet it was fun man it was just a freaking party man we were up to like six in the morning it was unreal it was <laughs> rock stars like to stay up that late sometimes well depending Definitely. on <laughs> only if i'm feeling fancy i don't know i have a day job so i can't do that that often <laughs> <laughs> yeah no we had a hell of a time it was really good nice yeah uh do you have any other Hard hitting questions? No, but I do remember I have to tell you something after. Okay, well that's irrelevant. That. Yeah. <laughs> it's a I, secret for later. <laughs> but it's a it's a reminder from me to you to remind me to talk to you about that thing that I was just all right. Of. Very good. <laughs> Jeez. Um. So okay, you had the one song that you recorded at Skull Creek and released. Mm -hmm. You you must have something else that you're almost ready to like. Oh know, yeah, right for sure. Yeah, we we've been playing a couple new ones. There are new songs. It's just you know, only one new single as of now that's released to the world. But there will be more to come for sure. Yeah, there's new stuff in the works. Yeah, always working, always writing. 
That's awesome. What's your thoughts on, okay. So as an artist musician who releases one song out there, Mm -hmm. right? Like a single out there. Is it, uh, I want to try and get the conversation on like the revenue aspect of it. So when you release the song, are you just like putting it out on like Spotify, like basically everywhere and anywhere you can, right? Yeah. And, and is there, what's the (laughs) potential, what's the potential of getting like a revenue back from distributing that music out like that for the, for like people who are maybe starting out in music and who just want to like, for lack of better term, like throw shit at the wall and see what sticks. Do you know what I mean? Like, how do you, how do you, what, what am I trying to say? Like, how do you get money from that? If you're just putting it, I understand, (laughs) right? Cause like, I mean, you're not doing, you're not doing it for the money. I mean, I'm right. right? Like somebody like me, you know, the, the music or sorry, like streams, and downloads and all that stuff you'll see that money eventually but it's never gonna really be much yeah especially from one song i mean it's just you know you've heard the the number like you know spotify and apple music and all those you don't really make very much at all so it's the gigs right the gigs will right but you don't but you don't do it for that you do it because you're like i want to put this cool song out there for people to listen to and I guess you just do it because you love it. Right. For I mean, the art. Eventually, right? yeah. <laughs> maybe eventually you'll want to make some more money, but I don't yeah. think, I don't think it's, it's not a money making thing, like releasing a single, I guess an album. Yeah. Because you have the album, you have the physical thing you can sell to people, but the, the, the online stuff. Yeah. Never, it never amounts to much, honestly. Yeah. I'm a big advocate on like purchasing albums or CDs or whatever. Like I, I, posted on my instagram a few weeks back where like one album sale is the equivalent of like more than ten thousand streams on fucking spotify exactly no exactly yeah which uh which reminded me i searched for a music on title this afternoon i couldn't find it so mark title he doesn't do spotify because they don't pay as much to the artist or musician as title does so mark streams okay i don't even I've never, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I'm on there. <laughs> you can find it on YouTube then. Yeah, it's on Apple Music. That's where I found it, yeah. Spotify, YouTube, and Bandcamp. So, Band, do you know Bandcamp? Yeah, yes. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, that's, you know, where people hope that their fans will download their music or whatever because you can actually pay, and it goes directly to the artist, and they have these Bandcamp Fridays now where, like, 100% yep. of the sales will go to the artists, but... Is that... Yeah, is I, don't that know, I don't know about... <laughs> Is that the first Friday of every month or something like that? Or right? the last, some, something like that, yeah. Mm, I can't remember now, but it's like been since COVID, I know, that they've been doing that. So do you make more money? I mean, it's probably not going to be much more, but do you make more on Bandcamp than on the streaming platforms combined? Uh, I don't, not much more. Like, I feel like... a. Okay, so the thing is, like, on Bandcamp, you're downloading a track that you then have to find on your phone or download on your computer. I don't think it's really that accessible also for, like, some people. Like, they oh, don't want that. They don't want the random, like, MP3, like, yep, right. whatever. So it's easier to stream it. So it's not as popular i guess like i'm with you i'm like okay buy the physical album or buy like a t-shirt or buy whatever they yeah. have buy some yeah. stickers mm-hmm. or go support them go see their show because the i don't know i guess like i the streams they're never gonna they're, <laughs> unless you're oh. unless you're the person that buy <laughs> unless you buy your streams and then you pay to make yourself money i don't know it makes no sense which bands do do that bands will pay i don't know there's like companies you can pay to like put your get your streams up but then i'm like wait you're then you're just paying yourself sort of i don't know it doesn't make any sense to me i feel like (laughs) didn't uh justin bieber 
get caught doing that back in the day or not back in the day, but a few years back. Yeah. Where he had like his, he was like streaming his own music or had people doing it. You know what though? Everyone it. does that. I used to work at a CD store a million years ago. Cause I'm old and <laughs> bands would come in like one time. I'm going to name drop them theory of a dead man. They came in on record release day. They bought, they bought their own album. And then that was like, slowly I realized like, Oh, numbers and like all this like chart stuff it all means nothing like Kanye West too like buys millions of copies of his own album like I mean he's not like it's just you're paying to get somewhere sometimes that is the case so I think it's important that a lot of people remember like if your streams aren't really high that's okay it doesn't mean much yeah like you know that's not that doesn't mean you're not successful right if people come to your shows and they're having a good time and they buy your merch and they come to another show, then you're successful. That's right? I, I yep. agree yeah. wholeheartedly. Yep. Wholeheartedly. Yeah. I, I'm on the same page. No, no offense to theory of a dead man, but <laughs> they like it was so bad. They're, they're, my they're part, of the, like, they're, they're they're part, part of, of the family. What? They're part of the family. Yeah, we too. Had they've been on the show. Yeah. Okay, delete that part. <laughs> yeah. I never said that. <laughs> I'm kidding. But it was it was so long ago. They they actually they every single one of them they bought their own album when I was like that's so weird. I'm like 20 years old. I'm like, that is so strange. <laughs> okay, and where, guys. And where was this? This was at, uh, it was a, a Canadian CD chain called CD Plus. So I worked at CD Plus in the Midtown Plaza. Yes, oh. good times. Met some good people there. But then I like learned a lot about like, oh, all these charts and everything. They're just lies. It's just all yeah. lies. Oh, yeah right oh, yeah. yeah that's where that's what happens when you yeah look at the yeah. numbers right it's are they are they legit or not i that's don't even, know that's it's like you know do what? you like the music or not is it good music to you or not <laughs> right yeah exactly exactly i agree yep as do i it's like the the oh, num- you agree with yourself yeah i always agree. <laughs> yeah fucking a you would i would because i'm an idiot right <laughs> that's the name of this episode i'm just an idiot. no <laughs> no don't do that don't sell yourself yeah. short anna haverstock i'm just an idiot yeah that's yeah, why no, i said no i can't do that <laughs> anna no, haverstock we- she's a genius <laughs> <laughs> that just might be it she's probably the smartest in the room I'm not even in the room. I'm in my own room. Whoa. (laughs) Crazy. So, okay. Going to like, I, for you out there listening, this has happened already, but can you give us like a lead up into your show for the, like playing on the 18th? Like, what does the rest of this week look like for you going into the 18th? (laughs) <laughs> what does the rest of the week look like <laughs> well like well, are you, like yeah yeah well, i have to go to work right <laughs> so i'll I, be working <laughs> right but no but as for like prepping for for going on stage and stuff like that like is there what kind of plan uh, do you have to do planning oh well we already like you know the guys and i that have so that are sorry that we are playing together at the capitol this weekend we've already jammed a couple times it's gone really well so i guess prepping for the show is just uh is complete (laughs) getting getting dressed and grab you it's not yeah i'll blast some cardi b i'll listen to megan the stallion get myself pumped up and then yeah find an outfit to wear and go rock at the capitol I used to play there a lot like a few years ago and, you know, I haven't really played there in ages. So I'm excited. It'll be fun. But yeah, there's no real cool story. It's just, I work, I work, I work. Then eventually (laughs) Saturday, I'm going to be like, oh yeah, today's show day. Man, you're confusing me so hard with, with your (laughs) first Motown. (laughs) And and then you rock out Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion before gig. Hello, people are like, multi-layered no you know that's i I like to listen to that well that type of music though like gets me like so amped up you know because they're like all about self-confidence and like just being a badass (laughs) so that's what i listen to before gigs or like even just going out or whatever but yeah hell yeah so that's what you listened to before you got on with us (laughs) 
<laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't have time. I wish I didn't have time. I got home and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm going to be late for this Zoom meeting. But I made it. It's all good. And we appreciate the <laughs> shit out of you yep. for taking the time out to hang out with us tonight. Oh, of we- course. Thank you for having me. Like, thank you for asking. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's been really dope, really fun. Definitely. So I think, uh, is there any anything pressing that you want to get out there before we let you go? Mm, no, just support local artists, I suppose. Support your local bands. Get out there to those shows. Whatever venue they're at. And buy their merch and buy their albums. <laughs> like, I guess. That's all I got to say. I, agreed. Cool. I, we, I just want you to know we love you here. The door is wide open for you anytime. Just Thank hit you. us up. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah. And with that, I think we'll we'll let everybody go. You stay on though, okay? Please, if you got another 10, 15. Sure. For All sure. right. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. See you guys next week. Bye. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> and cut. Oh, oh. <laughs>